So now we're going to look at um, point C and we're trying to find the forces acting on member C to D or DC. So the one that's highlighted in red. And this is correlated to the X component of BC. So let's go and look at our sum of forces in X. So the sum of the forces in X is equal to zero. We know that we're going to assume that CD is in tension, so it's positive. We know that uh, CB in the X direction is negative because it's in compression. And if we add those two together, we should get zero. Uh, just like we did before with the uh, cosine function, we can replace the CB x with this cd minus cb cosine theta equals zero and now we can rearrange this and solve for cd cd is equal to cb cosine theta notice we lost the negative when we moved it to the other side and we know that cb is 302.3 and cosine 29.74 and when you calculate that you should get something like 262.5 I think I have a rounding error here so we'll call that pounds and then go label our free body diagram 262.5 and that is positive so this is in tension and I think I forgot to do that on one of them it's a good idea to label each one if it's tension or compression just so you keep that in mind when you're looking over your work okay the last one is very easy so let's look at that All right, so when we look at the truss now, we are looking for what's happening between B and D. We know that we have force D of 500 pounds. So if, it, if we look at the forces in X, we know that that should be equal to zero. So that means we're gonna assume that B, D is in tension. Is in tension minus force F, D, which is negative it's pulling down equals zero and then we rearrange that to solve for BD force at point D uh, sorry my subscripts are a little bit sloppy so we know that BD is equal to 500 pounds and it is in tension So this is 500 acting on that member. Uh, there's nothing happening in Y right there. So at the end of this, let's put together a nice large free body diagram with everything we have learned. That should be it. So uh, I would suggest that you take what we've done, turn this into a procedure. So basically we looked at static determinacy. We found all the reaction forces using the sum of moments and then the sum of the forces in the X and Y direction at the connection points, the pin and the roller. And then we looked at each point individually. We started with the pin, we looked at the roller and then we went to point D and found the tension and compression of all of the members. And that's what it takes.